Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. Uh, so today's reading is going to be geared more towards people who are in a situation where your person of interest isn't really giving you what you would like. Maybe they're not initiating anything, they're not, not making any moves towards you. Uh, maybe they're just standing still, not really willing to take things further the way that you would like. Whatever the case, we're going to be asking, what is stopping your person? What is holding them back in this situation? So we have three decks of cards to choose from today. Group one is the Golden Tarot. Number two is the Sacred Circle Tarot. And three is the Wild Unknown Tarot. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. The timestamps for each deck will be um, in the comment section. It's always the pinned comment. Um, so head down there if you're ready. And if not, go ahead and pause the video because we are going to get started with deck number one. Okay, group one. What is holding your person back from you? What is holding your person back? We have here the Nine of Coins, King of Cups, Three of Cups, right away this feels like a person who really knows what they want, okay? Knight of Wands, Ace of Coins, let's get one more. Ace of Swords, okay. So, um, this feels like a very independent individual that we're talking about. This feels like somebody who is very self-sufficient, very, like, like I said, very much in tune with what they want, where they're going in their life. I mean, the Nine of Coins, this card a lot of times when it shows up, especially in relationship readings, it represents someone who is single, someone who is on their own, enjoying their time on their own, making the most out of it. Um, <laughs> this uh, this is a very independent kind of energy, and the King of Cups in this context is showing me something similar. Um, the King of Cups is usually somebody who's very in tune with their emotions, very in tune with what they're feeling, why they're feeling the way that they do. Um, somebody who's just really in touch with themselves. Um, so kind of similar to the Nine of Coins. Um, the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands here, <laughs> these two cards are talking to me about, I want to say, the word freedom comes to mind. Um, the Knight of Wands, this is a very passionate, excitable, enthusiastic kind of energy. This card can represent someone who's kind of a player. This is a sexual sort of energy, very sexual, but also sensual. Um... I feel like this is the kind of person who likes to have their options open. And I get that also from the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups a lot of times represents like friendships, um, close bonds between people, but it also can represent celebrations, partying, having a good time. Um, it also sometimes can represent third party situations. Um, some people love bringing that up. I usually don't unless I really feel like it's applicable in the situation that I'm reading about. And in this case, it does feel like it could be applicable for a lot of you. Okay, so a third party is, it can be another person. It can be a job. It can be family members, friends. A third party can be anything that is creating a wedge between you and another person. So it's not always, it, you know, it's, it's not always that the person you're asking about is cheating or involved with somebody else, but it can mean that. And with this Knight of Wands being here, I honestly feel like, I feel like for some of you that 
that is applicable. I feel like this person may be involved to some extent with another person or other people, plural. Um, and I say that because, like I said, this really feels like somebody who likes to keep their options open. We've got two aces here, the ace of coins and the ace of swords. Um, aces are all about new beginnings. They're all about, well, they can represent offers being made, messages, communication. Um, ace of coins, coins are earth energy. Earth energy tends to be very solid, stable, grounded. In the relationship context, coins talk to me about commitment um, and consistency. Uh, with this being an ace though, obviously aces are the first card in the suit. So they tend to represent the most underdeveloped, immature, of that coin's energy. So this could be something that it's just starting out that hasn't achieved very much stability, that hasn't achieved very much consistency, something that's something that's just in the early, early stages. And so like in 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 the relationship context, this makes me feel like the person we're talking about doesn't really like to be tied down. It kind of feels like they don't enjoy having obligations to other people, really. Um, kind of feels like they might be a little bit afraid of commitment. Maybe afraid is not the right word. I just feel like this person is at a point in their life right now where they're not really interested in it. They don't really want to be tied down they don't really want to have to like really work to maintain something it kind of feels like this person at this point in their lives is looking for fun is looking for a good time um and they're not really they're not really in a place where they're wanting to put a lot of work into a relationship um ace of swords <clears throat> this is this is air energy. Air is very fluid. It's very... It, it talks to me of freedom as well. That word is coming to mind again. It's open. It's uninhibited. It, you know, air. Air can move wherever it wants to, pretty much. Um, so, again, kind of similar to the Knight of Wands. It's um, showing me just a desire to go where one wherever one wants to go and i really feel like what's what's at the gist of this issue with you and this person i really feel like they just are not in a place where they want to be tied down if you're wanting commitment i'm afraid i'm afraid based on what i'm seeing here that's not what they're interested in um they might be they might be giving you the impression that they will commit eventually but i think that may just because may just be because they i mean i feel like they have a good time with you and so they don't want to end this connection just yet they don't want to walk out just yet it's like they want to try to make the most of this while they can but it feels to me like they don't really, they're, they're not really interested in taking things further. Um, I feel like a lot of you have some type of physical relationship with this person. It could be like a friends with benefits kind of thing, or maybe you've, you know, you've, you've um, been intimate a couple of times. Uh, I feel... I feel like that's not that's not exactly their priority here, but it is a big part of it feels like it is a big part of why they're around. Either they really enjoy being with you in that way or they would like to have an opportunity to be with you like that. Um something along those lines. It just really feels like this is this is not a person who's interested in committing or settling down or being tied down to anybody right now. 
Um, I do want to pull out maybe an oracle card or two and see if there's anything that they want to add to this. We have peace and we have regeneration. Okay. So the peace card, this is fairly self-explanatory. This card is all about calm, serenity, acceptance. This is a lot of times a message that, you know, the only way to be at peace, the only way to achieve peace is to accept the things that we cannot change, accept the way that things are. Um, if something is out of your control, we just have to accept that because that's the only way we're ever going to be at peace with it, <laughs> you know? Um, this is telling me that you you can't change this person. You probably already know this, but you can't change this person. You can't convince this person to commit if that's not what they want. Um, you can't convince this person to stick around if that's not what they want. Um, you can't make them give you anything that they're not willing to give. And I'm getting that some of you, some of you just need to come to terms with that and let this go. Um, the regeneration card here is kind of interesting because this is usually about renewal. It's about healing. Um, it talks to me about second chances. And so this makes me think that for a lot of you, this connection is something that unfortunately I just don't see working out for the time being. However, this person is going to change. Everybody changes. Everybody changes over the course of their lives, right? So, I mean, that's, that's a given. But this person is not always going to be in this state of mind. They're not always going to be focused on having fun, doing what they want, you know, that kind of thing. They're going to reach a point where they're going to want something more substantial. They're going to want something more stable and secure. And when that happens, you very well might cross paths with them again, because this really implies to me that your connection to this person, even though it's not going the way that you want it to now, it implies to me that that it could very well be renewed, restored in the future. Um, your feelings might that about that might um, you might have very positive feelings about that idea. You might not like that idea. You know, whatever. It's fine. Um, you don't ever have to take this person back if you don't want to. This is just saying you may have an opportunity sometime down the road. Um, but if you don't, that's fine. You know, we have free will. This isn't saying that in the future you're going to be with this person. It's saying you may have an opportunity for that. Um, but yeah, for, for, the, for the time being, based on... You know, the current energy of this situation, this person is holding back from you because they just, they want that freedom. They want that ability to go wherever they want to go and do whatever they want to do. And like I said, for some of you, it's very possible that they're talking to other people as well. They want to keep their options open. Um, so as far as a potential outcome, uh, I'm seeing you just kind of accepting it for what it is and, and letting it go. And like I said, at some point later down the road, you very well could have another chance to get involved with this person and things will be different, but it's going to be up to you whether you want to seize that opportunity or not. And whatever you choose to do, that's on you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, deck one people, that's what I have for you. Um, I know for some of you this may not be quite what you were hoping to hear, but I kind of get the impression that a lot of you already suspected that something like this was the case. Um, and maybe you just wanted some confirmation in that case. Hopefully this gave you the confirmation that you were looking for. Um, if this was not what you were hoping to hear, then um, I'm sorry. 
but this is just general so you know don't don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit um, and and you know take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest if if none of it sounded accurate to what you're experiencing then this wasn't your reading um, and if you really hate it then it doesn't have to be your reading either so there's that um thanks for joining me today guys that was kind of an interesting first reading for the day uh but thanks for joining me i hope i see you next time bye Okay, group number two, let's find out what is holding your person back. What is stopping them from moving forward with you? Or in some cases, you know, this could be what's stopping them from communicating, whatever's going on. What's, what's holding them back? Okay, we've got death coming out right away. We have the Queen of Discs or the Queen of Pentacles. We have Six of Wands. Hmm. You might be a little bit intimidating to this person. I want to see what other cards come out though. King of Wands. Nine of Discs, Nine of Cups, it was reversed. Hmm. I kind of feel like... Okay, this seems to me like a case of somebody who isn't quite sure what they want. I mean, we have the Queen of Coins, we have the Nine of Coins. Both of these are Earth energy. Um, earth energy is very solid, it's very stable. It, in the relationship context, talks to me about commitment. However, the Nine of Coins... Um, a lot of times in relationship readings, this card represents someone who's single, someone who's single and enjoying their time on their own or trying to make the most out of it. Um, group one also got the nine of coins. I feel like you and this person, honestly, it, it, it feels to me like you and this person are probably not in contact with each other because with the death card i mean with this being the very first card to come out it feels to me like this connection is right now pretty much non-existent like you don't really have a relationship with this person at the moment like things have ended between you I feel like, okay, I mentioned a couple minutes ago that it, you might be kind of intimidating to this person. Um, I get the sense that they see you as very independent, very self-sufficient. Um, they're kind of seeing you as the queen of coins here. And this is, you know, gender is irrelevant. The queen of coins can represent anybody regardless um the queen of coins generally speaking is just someone who really has it together this is someone who is very stable very secure um materially you know financially in their work but also in other respects as well so this could be someone who um is pretty well off but also very content with themselves, someone who is, you know, doing their thing, just kind of doing their thing, living their life, 
um, being their best selves that they can be. And I feel like, you know, this is someone who's really in tune with themselves, with what they want, what's important to them. Uh, this is also somebody who typically is very compassionate and loving and gentle. Um, however, I kind of get the sense that this person we're talking about is for some reason feeling like they're not really deserving of your compassion or gentleness or love. They see you as being highly successful. Um, the Six of Wands is victory. It is recognition. They are recognizing that They're recogn okay, they're recognizing a couple things. Um, the first thing, they're recognizing that you're very successful and very capable, very independent, like I was saying. Um, they're also recognizing that they have made mistakes in this connection. It seems to me like, honestly, I feel like this person is watching you somehow. I feel like this person is watching you somehow, either like online or through people that you know, that you both know, like mutual friends, acquaintances, something like that. Um, because I just feel like they, somehow they know what's going on with you for the most part. Like they have an idea of what you're doing right now. They are somehow seeing you like working hard, manifesting your goals with the King of Wands here. Um, living your life, doing your thing. They're seeing you being independent. They're seeing you being successful. They're seeing you turning your dreams into reality, going out doing what they're perceiving as, you know, interesting things. Um, if maybe you've, maybe you've done some traveling lately, they're seeing that. They're kind of jealous of all the success that they are perceiving. I want to I want to emphasize that you might not feel like you've been all that successful in the recent past. You might not feel like you've been making great strides in your life or, you know, things like that, but that's what this person seems to be seeing. For 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 some reason they are they are seeing you this way. They are perceiving what you're doing as, you know, manifesting, chasing your dreams, being successful, stable, all of that. Okay, so even if you don't feel like you've actually been doing these things, this is, this is what your person sees. This is their perspective. And I think that they feel that in comparison, they are doing nothing. They feel like they are, they feel like they're just running in place. Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is like wishes that are going unfulfilled. This is dissatisfaction, discontentment, um, unhappiness with the way that things are. This is like your person feeling inadequate, inadequate, and like they have nothing to give, nothing to offer. And so they're just kind of keeping to themselves. They're like, I have nothing to offer this person. They, they're doing it all. They're, they're so much better than me. They are, they're deserving of so much better than me. And so I'm just going to keep to myself. I'm going to sit over here on my own and, and keep, keep feeling sorry for myself. Because honestly, that's kind of how this feels. It kind of feels like this person is feeling sorry for themselves to some extent. Um, I want to point out that this doesn't have to be a connection that is this doesn't have to be like a, a, a no contact thing. You might 
be in touch with this person to some extent, but even if you are, I feel like it's pretty minimal, okay? Um, but this person overall just seems to be holding back from you because they feel like they have nothing to give. They feel like they have nothing to offer you. They feel like they're inadequate, insufficient, um, redundant is coming to mind, which is an interesting word. Um, like you don't need them. You don't need them. They feel like you don't need them and so they're just not doing anything. They're not taking any action towards you. They're not reaching out. They're not initiating anything. I feel like this person has a lot of goals for themselves, but they're not, for some reason they don't have, either they don't have the means or they just don't have the motivation to actually go out and make the changes that they want to make in their life. Like, they're, they're just not pursuing these goals or these dreams that they have for themselves. They're just remaining in place. They're not... They're not figuring out ways to improve themselves the way that they want to. They're not able to... They're, they're just feeling stuck and they're feeling like they don't have a way forward. And that is making them feel inferior to you, which is interesting. It's like they're, they're choosing to stay in the same place for the most part, but it makes them feel bad. But like, I don't like to make assumptions about people <laughs> when I'm doing readings, but honestly, it feels like this person for now is just like they just they, they're just kind of having a pity party for themselves to be perfectly honest i mean i think i said this at the start but it feels like they're just they're just kind of feeling sorry for themselves feeling sorry for themselves, feeling like they're not good enough, and that's why they're holding back. That's why they're not doing anything. That's why they you haven't heard from them. Um, I want to pull a couple of oracle cards and see if I can't get like a potential outcome for this situation. Um, we have Loyal Heart reversed. And to be fair, also reversed. For the time being, it looks like this person is going to just stay right where they are. They're just going to sit and wallow in this state that they're in. I'm not seeing them making any real changes, any real significant changes in the near future. Because, um, to be fair, this is some kind of imbalance this is it can represent injustice unfairness um in this context i'm i'm just kind of seeing it as somebody making no efforts to be better someone making no effort to be better and loyal heart reversed this is kind of interesting because Typically, this is about, like, unconditional love, loyalty, obviously, um, holding on to something, with it being reversed, and, and, and it talks to me about, like, a willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve what you want, whether that's, you know, working on a relationship, building it up, or some other kind of goal. It's, it's being willing to do whatever it takes to get there. Um, with this being reversed, I'm still seeing it as like holding on to something, but the willingness to do the work, the willingness or I, maybe the ability to do whatever they need to do to actually achieve that goal, it's just not there. So it's like somebody sitting around dreaming about something but never actually taking any steps towards achieving it. So for, for, for the time being, I am seeing things pretty much staying the way that they are, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> I 
if you're wanting for this person to approach you, I'm, I just don't, I don't really see it happening in the near future. Obviously the future is changeable. Anything can happen. Um, this is just based on the current trajectory of the situation. Um, so this can change. This is, this is not set in stone by any means. Um, but if you're wanting them to, to make a move towards you, I don't really see it happening in the near future. And honestly, I feel like even if you were to initiate something towards them, they would still probably pull back. They would probably not be super receptive of it because the root of this problem is that they feel undeserving and inadequate. So even if you make a move towards them, they're still going to feel undeserving and inadequate. That's not going to change. They have to change that within themselves. They have to figure out how to get out of that energy state on their own. Um, so unfortunately, until that happens, if that happens, I don't really see, I don't really see any changes here, um, which kind of sucks. But. It's really a them problem at the end of the day. You know, it's not a you problem, it's a them problem. So um, group two, that's what I have for you today. Uh, I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful in some way. Um, take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit into your situation. This is just general. so. It, not everything is going to apply to every person who watches. And if none of it resonated with you, then this wasn't your reading and don't worry about it. Um, thanks for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Lastly, we have group three. Okay, group three, let's find out what is holding your person back. What is stopping them from coming towards you, stopping them from moving forward with you? Let's see. <clears throat> we have the moon reversed. Hmm. We have the Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands reversed. Whoa, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups. And let's get one more. Oh, that's too many. Can't take all those. Just one. Just one. There we go. Seven of Wands. Okay. So, um, this feels like... This feels like a situation where somebody... Somebody's not seeing a way forward. Somebody's not seeing a way forward. The moon, this is the unknown. This is something being hidden. This is illusions. Especially when it's reversed, it talks about illusion. You're not seeing the truth. Someone's not seeing the reality of a situation. Um, we also have here the seven of wands, which in this particular deck, this is really about overcoming. This is about like the light at the end of the tunnel. This is putting up a fight and after a long, hard struggle, starting to come out on top. Um, we also have the 10 of wands also reversed. This is about burdens. This is about something that is weighing on you. Um, when it's upright, it can indicate that somebody is letting go of whatever is weighing them down, letting go of some responsibility that's too much for them, some burden that they're holding on to. Because it is a 10 and 10s indicate completion. However, with it reversed, this is really like clinging on to difficulty, clinging onto something that's causing you pain, 
um, or something that is holding you down in some way. We also have the Seven of Pentacles also reversed. This is, this, this is a card that generally talks to me about potential. It talks to me about future planning. Um, slow but steady progress in a particular direction towards a particular goal. This is the, this is like taking, taking a little bit of a, a break, a pause, in order to kind of pull yourself together, um, reevaluate the situation that you're in and figure out your next step forward. Um, with it reversed, this is, this is, this is more of a frustrated kind of energy. This is like, I have, I have plans, I know where I want to go, but I don't know how, I don't know how to get there, or the plans that I've made are not working out, and I'm frustrated with the lack of progress. So, this to me feels like someone who does want to move forward with you, or they want to move towards you in some way, but they're struggling with some kind of They're, they're struggling to figure out how to make happen what they want to happen. So, okay, let me explain. Um, the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups, these are very romantic, loving energies. The Knight of Cups a lot of times represents expressions or offers of love being made, a relationship starting out. Um, the Queen of Cups, this is unconditional love. This is compassion and empathy. This is a very strong bond between people. So I feel that you and this person are probably very close. You probably have a pretty strong connection to each other. And this person definitely seems to want more. This person wants more. But I get the sense that there's something, obviously there's something holding them back. Um, <clears throat> I feel for most of you, this is circumstances. This is like circumstantial. This is outside stuff affecting this connection. Um, this could be... This could be, I mean, this person could be having money problems. They could be unemployed and struggling financially. This person could live very far away from you. There could be physical distance here. Um, this person could have people in their, in their life who are creating issues for them, uh, preventing them from taking steps that they want to take, preventing them from getting their life together the way that they want it to be. Uh, you know, for example, bad friends or family members who are like, <sighs> always, always wanting them to do something for them or like leeching off of them in some way, something something along those lines. It, it seems to me like what's holding this person back is mostly external factors that they're trying to figure out how to overcome, okay? <clears throat> um, and they, they so badly want to overcome what it is that's holding them back. This is not a matter of, you know, it, it's not that this person is unsure about what they want. It's not that this person is questioning this connection, questioning this relationship. Is this what I really want? Is this going to be good for me? Do I really want to be with this person? They know. They know these things. They know that they want to be with you. They know what they want to have. <clears throat> they know what they want to move towards they've made plans they have a plan they know what they want they know what their end goal is but they're having trouble getting there because of these circumstantial things that are happening around them so i mean the first example that comes to mind is <clears throat> somebody Okay, maybe your person lives, I don't know, 500 miles or more away from you, and they want to get to you, they want to be with you physically, you know, face to face, um, but they might be having money trouble. 
So they're unable to get transportation to go to where you are. Um, or they could be, there could be an issue with like the, the living situation, somebody's living situation. Like if, if they, if they do come to see you, there's nowhere for them to stay. Um, or something, something like that. Those are just possible examples, but it's definitely circumstantial stuff that's holding this person back. And it's like they're trying to figure out how to navigate these problems, how to solve these problems so that they're no longer affecting their ability to give you what you need, their ability to invest in this relationship as much as they want to, because they really want to be investing in this. They want to be investing in you, but, and, and they're trying to, I feel like they're really trying to, but they just, they're having trouble seeing a way forward right now. And I feel like they're probably also, uh, maybe as a result of past experiences, they might also be feeling kind of pessimistic. Um, kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm trying, but I'm not seeing any progress. How am I ever going to do this? You know, is it, is it worth continuing this fight and I mean I feel for most of you they are ultimately going to decide yes it is worth continuing this fight but it's it's hard it's hard it's it's a struggle for them I want to pull one or two oracle cards and get a potential outcome for this situation see what might be in store for you and this person <clears throat> So if, I mean, if you're questioning whether this person really wants you, whether they really are genuine, um, you know, if their intentions are pure, if their intentions are what they say they are, I would say yes. It looks like this person is very well-intentioned. It looks like this person, um, that's too many cards. It looks like this person does or has been truthful with you about what they want and about how they feel. So I wouldn't worry about... I, I wouldn't worry about whether they're being honest about that or not. We have the tribe card. And... Hold on. Hang on. I don't know if I want to take that one. Okay. Treasure Island reversed. The tribe, this is about belonging, feelings of belonging, the feeling of being whole, like you found a place where you belong, where you fit in. Um, this card also can talk about soul family. So, you know, very deep, profound relationships with people, other people. Um, finding a place that you fit in. So to me, this is saying that whatever is whatever circumstances are preventing this person from being with you whatever circumstances are preventing this person from really giving you everything that they want to give you that's going to be resolved and there is going to be more closeness there is going to be progress the two of you eventually will be able to move forward together in the direction that you want to. And <clears throat> I feel like this is not really, for, for a lot of you, I feel like this is not necessarily a case of, okay, let me put it this way. I feel like most of you are not really in limbo with this person exactly. I feel like a lot of you are in a relationship with this person. Like this person has committed to some extent, and you have made plans together. I don't feel like it's a case where you're hanging, you know, twisting in the wind, wondering, are we ever going to be together? Because I feel like you kind of already are together. There's just things that are holding you guys back from going to the next stage. Like, and, and that next stage could be 
living together. It could be marriage. It could be whatever. You know, this is general. So take it how it resonates with you. But um, I, I feel for most of you, this isn't really a case of I want to be with you, but I can't right now. It's a case of I have chosen you. You are my person. And I'm just, I'm trying to give you more. I'm trying to give you everything I want to give you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Um, we also have Treasure Island reversed. This is kind of interesting because this card, in the upright, it's about abundance and prosperity and wish fulfillment. In the reverse, though, it can talk about doubt. It can talk about a lack of confidence. And in this context, while I do see you and your person achieving what you want to achieve and making the progress that you're trying to make, I feel like it's going to be kind of a difficult road getting there. There will be some ups and downs. There will be, you know, times where you're doubtful about how this is going to work out. Um, are you going to be able to get to where you want to be? Will you guys be able to achieve all of these dreams that you have together? Um, so, you know, this is saying this is not going to be an easy road necessarily, but I do see you guys coming out on top in the end. Um, and, you know, the imagery here, this, we have this torch, this light in the darkness illuminating everything. I mean, you know, like I said, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is success to me. This is successfully overcoming what's holding you back. So I, um... I think you and this person have a pretty happy ending coming to you. Uh, I can't say when this happy ending is going to come because this is general and so it's going to be different for everybody. But um, yeah, I think I think you guys will come out on top. It's, but it's it's going to take time and it's going to take it's going to take some hard work. But I feel like you're both willing to 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 invest that. So you know. I see a pretty happy ending for you guys. Um, so, best of luck, and I'm wishing you all the best, Group 3. Um, that's what I have for you today. I hope that this uh, resonated with you. I hope it was interesting. Um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit into your situation, don't try to make it fit. This is general, so it's not going to be completely applicable to every single person who watches it. Um, so just keep that in mind, and if it didn't resonate at all, then it wasn't your reading, and that's that. Uh, so thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye!